Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi and let's dream about beauty. In today's video, I have for you a, another haul. I can't stop buying makeup and I'm excited to show you what I got. So if you're interested in seeing my purchases, then just stick around. All right, so we got this full of stuff. So hopefully you're as excited as I am. Um, we're gonna start out with what I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's just a quick little haul. So I got um, the new, it's called Irresistible Blush Powder Duo from Lise Watier, which is a Canadian brand. And this is part of her um, um, a holiday release. You can see that the packaging on that is beautiful. So let's open it up and have a look. It's like, I don't, you can kind of see that it's an ombre blush. So on this side you've got kind of a darker color and on this side it's a lighter pink. So that's what it looks like. It's just a nice light soft pink so I will be excited to use that and oh my gosh I'm gonna display this piece because the packaging is gorgeous then uh, Shoppers Drug Mart has recently started carrying Kylie Cosmetics so there we have it this is another blush this is in the shade shade is it winter kissed so that sounds like it's up my alley because you know I love the cool tone so this is a nice cool tone pink very pretty well, I didn't swatch it oh okay it did swatch pretty good but it's just quite light so it's hard to see but there there it is. So I am also excited to use this. And Shoppers Drug Mart has also recently started carrying Woma Beauty. So I, um, from Beauty Bay, I recently bought the foundation and then since Shoppers Drug Mart started carrying um, Uoma Beauty which I was so surprised about and happy that I bought the concealer so this is the Stay Woke concealer I got it in the shade Fair Lady T1 so this is what it looks like super pretty well pretty I don't know pretty but it looks nice and I'm excited to see how it goes on okay so now from BH Cosmetics, I bought the Birthstone Collection brushes. So this is what they look like. Sorry, there's a lot of glare on them. So there's 12 brushes. Each one corresponds with the Birthstone. And uh, I know that this large brush here, Angelica Nyquist really likes it for bronzer. So I'm excited to dig into these. I thought it was time to treat myself to some new brushes and I've had my eye on these ones for a while. And then, from Juvia's Place, I ordered the I Love, I Love Ice Palette. I'm sure that when you guys saw this, you all knew I had to get it because I just love blue eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. Sorry about the reflection there of my ring light. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is a pressed glitter. And then there's one, two, three shimmers. And one, two, sorry, one, Ooh, we'll get my fingers in. Two mattes. So 
this one at the bottom is sort of a an interesting sort of uh, an interesting shimmer and it's just a nice soft blue you can see it there so that'll be pretty as an inner corner anyhow I just think this is gorgeous so that is the Juvia's place I love I live I love ice so that is part of their holiday collection and then to round out that order I got the Juvia's place bronzed light so this is the bronzer and it is a duo So that is what it looks like. Again, that's in light. Now there is one sort of lighter shade and then one that's a bit warmer and a bit deeper. So yeah, those are really nice. Okay, from Sydney Grace, I ordered the Sydney Grace Extemptalia palette, and this is um, the Light Quintessence palette. This is the packaging. So I love the you know outer space type look to it and then this is what the actual palette looks like and I just think oh my gosh I love the cool tones down here and then these bright colors up here it's really pretty and I can't wait to dig into it so that is a very nice palette Oops. I love the names too interstellar galactic muse borealis Aurora. All right. Now, I was watching um, Lisa from Batting, Panning, and Beyond, and she was doing a haul, and she showed uh, two items from ZC Cosmetics, and I've seen a lot of buzz about this particular brand online. And when she showed the packaging for the two items that she'd bought, I just absolutely had, had to have it because I am a sucker for packaging over and over again. So this is, this is the Dragon Velvet Lipstick. I got mine in the shade something apricot, I don't recall. And this is the box. So again, it looks very bougie, very luxe. And then you open it up, just kind of pulls out like so. And there's this gold piece of paper, and then inside is the lipstick, and it is has a dragon wrapped around the component of it, and it is just beautiful. I mean, look at that packaging, and this is the color I got. Let's just swatch it. So yeah, so that's a really nice color actually, right up my alley. So that is gorgeous. Mm. I don't know whether to keep the box or not, because, well, the box is just beautiful too. But then you end up with so many pretty boxes, you know. This is the foundation. It is called the Gilt Gold Phoenix Luxury Makeup Foundation Lotion. So again, it just slides out. I think this is a uh, sub brand of ZC called Palace Identity, if I'm not mistaken. Anyhow, here's the foundation. It has a phoenix at the top of it. Kind of looks like a peacock, also. But since it says phoenix, gold phoenix on the box, I'm going to assume it's a phoenix. Anyhow, this is what that looks like. Oh my goodness. That is so luxurious and beautiful. 
hopefully the foundation is nice as well. So that is that. I have to tell you a quick story. You know you're getting old when you tear your house apart looking for a parcel that you think should have arrived and you so you look and you're like oh my goodness okay this arrived or was delivered last Thursday but I don't have it and you tear the house apart looking for a package that your kids might have put somewhere and then you realize that actually you did open it and you did ooh and ah over the components but you just forgot about it that is the state of my brain these days okay so let's move on I think Okay, so I've got one more from BH Cosmetics, the citrine. Now, I am collecting all of them, so that is why I bought this one, even though I don't really like yellow, and this is not my favorite color story, but sometimes we do silly things, you know, just to have the whole collection, and um, it'll be a good palette to use, I guess, to stretch my, my makeup preferences a bit to see if I actually you know maybe I'll wear it and actually like it so that to the side and oh, there's a couple more things in here from shoppers drug mart okay so I ordered the Rouge Blush, the Atelier of Dreams Blush Powder. This is part of their ho holiday collection. Comes in their pretty blue velvet bag. Now I ordered this shortly before I watched Morgan Turner's review of it and she did not like this at all. Apparently it is a very sparkly blush. Anyhow, this is what it looks like. I do see some glitter. Yeah, that didn't swatch very well at all. You can see it a little bit on my finger there, but oh, now I can see the swatch. Very glittery. I'm not sure that I'm going to like that, but it's still fun to have. Okay, and then, um, I'm not sure. So I frequently buy from Shoppers Drug Mart and I'm not sure if they made a mistake or they just threw in an extra something something for me because they, you know, see my name all the time. Probably not. It's probably an accident. But I elected to just be the beneficiary of the accident and so they sent a quad, a Chanel quad. And that's kind of fun to have. So this is, again, I was so surprised when they sent it. I haven't bought anything that has these little makeup brush sponges. Anyhow, but it is a pretty color story. So that is the quad that I got. So I'm going to have to try that out and see what I think of it. It's worth like 70 something dollars. Canadian so kind of fun to have and then what else do we have in here okay so then there's one two three four okay so I've got four lip products this one is cover girl Cream lipstick in Darling Kiss. Well, that's really pretty. Just a nice light pink. 
And then this is CoverGirl Cream Lipstick in Sultry Sienna. And that's it right there. So again, quite a lovely color. I'll be happy to use that. And then I did get, this is a CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Gloss. I don't in the shade. Sorry, I can't see what the shade is. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Really pretty. It really showed up nice in the viewfinder. Um, but it's very sheer. Very sheer lip gloss. Actually, there's like no color to it whatsoever. And that's it. Let's see. Right. Oh yeah, now you can see it. See, it's just shining right there. There's no color to this whatsoever. So, not that impressed. And then I picked up one of the uh, Too Faced Lady Bold. It's in the shade Thrive Thriving. And I'm glad that they changed the name from Lady Bold because that was just dumb. And that's the shade of it right there. A bit darker than I usually go, so it'll be fun to try that out. Okay, so that is that. Now, I think the rest of everything in here is from Sephora, from the VIB sale. So I got... First of all, the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette. Had my eye on this one for a while. And um, yeah, I just thought I would pick it up. And that is what it looks like. It's just a nice, soft, rosy um, palette with some, it's got two mattes lighter shade and a darker shade which are nice and then one two three shimmery metallics very pretty i'm excited to use that it's a nice addition to my collection and and i ordered this kit from pat mcgrath it has a lip liner a lippy and a bullet lipstick and it is in the shade Divine Rose I'm running out of spaces let's just do it right here so that's the color of it so that's pretty I would have preferred it to be a little more pink and a little less terracotta but that's okay and then so that came in a, this is one of her holiday sets. And then I ordered the um, Blurring Skin Tint by Fenty Beauty in the shade 7. I haven't even opened this box yet. Um, so I was interested in getting, I don't have very many like really light foundations. Not light as in the color light, but light as in sort of light coverage so I wanted to try this out looks, it looks a little bit light but I'm not sure hopefully it is a good color for me so that is the ease what do they call these again the ease drop blurring skin tint so I'm gonna keep your eyes out I'm gonna try though this out in a video coming up shortly um I also got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Mauve Wives. And it is beautiful, cool toned lip cream. And it has great pigmentation. Love that. That's going to become one of my favorites for sure. Okay, and then I ordered 
a lippy, well, a, a bullet lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade. Um, what is the shade? I think it's a very Victoria. And that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. That's just a nice, soft, mauve color. And then, what else is in here? Ooh, I think we're down to the last thing. And, uh, of course, you knew I was getting this, didn't you? The Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. So, this is what it looks like. The outer packaging. Very beautiful. And then, da da da, -da we shall open it. And that is what this cool toned beauty looks like. So I am so excited to dig into this and do a few looks. It will be in a video very shortly on my channel, so keep your eye out for it. And, other than a couple of perfume samples, my box is now empty and that's everything that was in there. So I hope that you enjoyed my haul. I enjoyed showing you everything and it is very fun for me to go through all of my purchases and ooh and awe over them with somebody else who is like-minded. Um, I will be trying a lot of these things in upcoming videos, so stick around, stay tuned for that. Time is our most precious resource, and when you spend a little bit of your precious time with me, I really appreciate it. I hope wherever in the world you are that you're well, that you're healthy, that you're happy. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell, comment down below. Love reading your comments, and maybe a thumbs up for me. That's it for me for today. Take care. Bye-bye.